This instructional video is designed to show you how to use the eigenvalue condition to prove whether or not something is an eigenfunction. So here we have the eigenvalue equation and the things that you will need are a specific operator for A, a specific function F that works and if you can prove it true then you will find a value for this uh, scalar here which will be the eigenvalue. So, let's suppose we have as a function cosine bx plus sine bx and we're going to test this for two different operators. So our first case will be the first derivative and our second case will be the second derivative. So in this case the first step is to set up quantity operator acting on the function. And in this case, it's going to be the first derivative of this entire thing. So, d dx acting on cosine bx plus sine bx. So we can step through taking that derivative relatively straightforward. We will get minus b sine bx plus b cosine bx. So at this point we can factor out a b. That gives us b negative sine bx plus cosine bx. Now we have something that looks like the ending point for checking whether or not we have a satisfied eigenvalue condition and that we have something that is a constant times something that is a function. However, this function, negative sine bx plus cosine bx, is not equal to cosine bx plus sine bx. So that function is not an eigenfunction of operator A. If we want to try this with operator B, we would do the same thing. And this is the second derivative of cosine bx plus sine bx. And in this case, because we already have the first derivative done, we're just going to continue from there for the second. And so in this case, we already have the b sitting on the outside. This will become minus b cosine bx. And this will be minus b sine bx. And so that's our second derivative of our function. Now I can pull out the minus b and multiply this one and I'll get negative b squared times cosine bx plus sine bx. And so in this case again we have some constant, which is our scalar, times the function. And in this case cosine bx plus sine bx is identical to the original function. So we're able to pull that out and point out that that is an eigenfunction and because this is the constant sitting in front of it, that is the eigenvalue. So, we can circle this here as our eigenvalue. And, because this function worked, we can then recognize that this is an eigenfunction of our operator B, which is second derivative. And so by applying everything from the function of the operator to the definition of an eigenvalue problem, we can always identify whether or not something is an eigenfunction and ultimately determine an appropriate eigenvalue.